I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR2 News Update. The 145th running of the Preakness Stakes is tomorrow, and this year the Preakness is the final leg of horse racing's Triple Crown. There won't be any large crowds at Old Hilltop. Earlier this week, Baltimore Mayor Jack Young agreed to allow a maximum of 250 people at the facility. The Preakness is the last of the Triple Crown races in 2020 because of the coronavirus pandemic. There will not be a Triple, round, triple Crown winner this year. Different horses won at the Belmont Stakes as well as the Kentucky Derby. Harper County wants to help restaurants stay open. The county will begin accepting restaurant relief grant applications next week. The $10,000 grants will reimburse owners for qualifying expenses paid between March 1st and December 30th. Expenses include mortgage or rent payments, upgrades for carryout service, seating enhancements and physical barriers, food and beverage service establishments, including food trucks, can apply, even if they received a Hartford County COVID-19 business relief grant. The county will accept applications beginning at 8 a.m. next Wednesday, and we have a link to the application on our website at WMAR2news.com. Well, trash and recycling have become a big problem for parts of the city during the pandemic. Tomorrow, there's an event that may help with that. DPW is holding their annual fall cleaning and greenings event. It is from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. at Clifton Park. You can drop off recycling and get paper shredded for free. They also want to help with your green thumb. They'll be handing out free trees and mulch from their grow center. At a different site tomorrow from 9 to 5, DPW will also collect hazardous house waste. Those are things like batteries and bleach. And drop off those materials at the Northwest Citizens Convenience Center on Sisson Street. Well, mainly clear skies tonight will allow our temperatures to drop down to the 40s for most of us across central Maryland. As we progress into tomorrow afternoon, we are going to keep a lot of sunshine around, but that's not going to help us warm up by much. We are going to stay below average, only topping out around 65 to 66 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. Into your Sunday will be slightly warmer, still keeping some of that sunshine around, but then rain chances increase as we head into early next week. Temperatures do make a rebound back above normal. We're talking lower to mid 70s as we head into your Wednesday, and we are going to stay dry for much of next week. Mostly sunny skies in store for Thursday and Friday with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download that WMER2 News app. You can watch our live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.